There's a big whiteout in the forecast for Winnipeg tonight. Thousands of Jets fans getting set to cheer on their team on the road against the Predators in Nashville. Game seven, nail biter, but not for our next guest. He is convinced the Jets will win this game seven. I want you to meet Greg Burnett, Winnipeg Jets super fan. It's early in Winnipeg, but it's never too early on game day. Good morning, Greg. Good morning. Great to see you. I'm really looking forward to this, and everybody's going to be looking forward to our conversation because you don't have a man cave. You have a fan cave. Show me what you have in the basement at home in Winnipeg. Well, this is the uh, kind of newest stuff here. Okay. All my... Uh, Bufflin. Uh, we all, Anstrom, we Wheeler, Anstrom, yes. that's little there. My whiteout jersey, you got uh, Scheif. Told you, I told you for 15 years they'd come back. That's my thing there. <laughs> and uh, you got Ehlers, Truba, Line, a, and then Burmistroff, who I liked when he first came here. I guess that was one of my only full pop. <laughs> and then here. Wow, it just continues. Of all the jet jerseys that they've worn in their entire existence from 1972 to 1996. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can you go back? Is that a Hedberg jersey? Absolutely. And That's got to that be a favorite. Is, it is a favorite. It's uh, He was my hockey hero when I f saw my first game. And this is what I got on my first ever jet game, the day of my birthday, 1976. The golden Body breath? The golden jet? Red. Wow. The golden jet. But uh, Anders Hedberg was my uh, hockey hero to this day. My favorite number is 15. And a couple of my daughters have inherited that number as well. So it's uh, And my wife actually got me this. And that's my wife meeting Anders Hedberg before I did. And he was so enamored with her, he actually gave her a kiss, if you can see that there. Look at that. And that's probably you didn't mind if your idol gave your wife a little no, kiss no, on the I cheek, I bet. My, I told my wife, I said, that's 100% OK. <laughs> <laughs> OK, of all of this stuff, just can you just slow it down just a little bit? Because I'm getting a little bit vertigo here as I look all around so quickly. Sure. This is incredible. But what about, OK, that's your favorite. What's the most let's say, unique item you have in that in that cave there, Greg? Okay, I have to uh, quickly just go up the stairs here. Oh. And uh, right there, anyone who is from Winnipeg will know what that is. An and A. the old Winnipeg Arena, they had left. That's the A. That was the second A on top of the building. You got an A from the so, top of the building? How did you get that? Um, my wife, when they were tearing it down, she's very, my wife's a very thoughtful lady and she, she's an enabler as far as my, uh, my jetness. <laughs> she, uh, was driving by the arena when it was being torn down and she asked the demolition guys, what are you going to do with those letters? And the guy just said, I don't know. And she goes, well, I want one. And so she came back. Um, she told, she made a plan for me to go back and I, I got the A. So that's one of my prized possessions. I bet it is. Okay. You called it your jetness. What is this? Obsession, love, affection. What do you call this for your team? I, I just call it a passion uh -huh. because it's, uh, people always think I'm hockey crazy, but um, I like hockey, obviously, but uh, it's about the city. I love Winnipeg. And just to see the way everyone gets together during this, uh, the jet run is awesome. It's, uh, I'm a teacher. And as a teacher, when you see things like um, inclusion, it doesn't matter how rich you are, how poor you are, what color you are, what you look like. If you're wearing a Jet jersey, you're good and you belong. And uh, nothing brings that together more than a Winnipeg Jets whiteout. So. Isn't that fantastic? And nothing is going to get it at uh, fever pitch, uh, more so than this Game 7 tonight. You are the guy to tell me how it's going to go tonight in Nashville. Uh, Jets will win 3 nothing, and I'll just up it a bit. We will beat Vegas in five. Vegas in five. Okay. But, okay, for tonight, before we get on to Vegas, who, gonna, yeah. I mean, looking at the jerseys, I'm seeing Bufflin. Everyone's going to be watching him. Wheeler, will Bufflin be dancing? Who's going? Who are going to be the keys to the game tonight, do you think? Who to watch? Uh, Shifley and Wheeler. Okay. 
Scheifen Wheeler, and I think uh, I think Ehlers is going to score tonight, so he's due. He is due. You're watching yeah. at home or where? Are you going into the crowd? No, I'll be watching at home. I watched. I, I've been to two viewing parties, um, and they lost both. So I got to turn. I got to change it up a bit. So, but I'll be watching at home tonight with my family. So. And have you planned um, how you're going to celebrate if, in fact, they win tonight and get to move on to their first ever conference final? I have a friend who um, isn't really a hockey fan, but he always cheers for the Leafs just to tick me off. <laughs> so I figure I might give him a call to drive me downtown after to see what's going on at Porter Germain after the game. So I might take him up on that. So what a scene that will be if it comes to pass. Yes. What fun. That's right. Listen, Greg, thanks for sharing this. Your uh, your longtime passion makes us passionate about your team, too. And uh, we'll connect again. Fingers crossed for your team tonight. You bet. Thank you. Go Jets. Go.